A little while back, I discussed who my favorite villager in Animal Crossing New Horizons is. In case you missed it, it's Drake the Duck. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my least favorite villager. Now, when I played New Leaf, I didn't know it, but I started out with some not so great villagers like Barreled and Brangle. As not terrible villagers, they're not anything to write home about. It wasn't until I played New Horizons that I found out there are some villagers that I do not like at all. Now let me tell you a story. So when Tom Nook allowed me to get more villagers after I built the campsite, I only had six villagers at that point. These six. I only had 2,000 Nook miles. So I could only afford one Nook Mile ticket. I said to myself, the villager I get from that mystery island is a villager I'm going to ask to be on my island. So when I got there, I looked around. I saw the villager. It was Velma. Velma is a goat. No, not the goat. She's an actual goat. The next day, she was on my island. There was nothing wrong with her for the first week or two, but after I had all 10 villager slots filled up, I was trying to get a villager off my island so I could look for Raymond, as one does, and I wanted her off my island, because she was just one that I did not have an attachment to, but she just didn't leave. I didn't talk to her unless she had a thought bubble over her head. Hoping that she would leave and the thought bubble meant that she wanted to leave. But after every single time, it was about her buying something dumb. It was like she was mocking me. And to make it even worse, her catchphrase is bleh. So every time she tells me about her spending money, she goes bleh. Even after I help her, she just gives me attitude. No thank you. Just a... Bleh. Although, she did leave my island after two and a half months, so it did all work out in the end, but it just took way too long. It doesn't change the fact that I just don't like her, and that she is my least favorite villager in Animal Crossing New Horizons.